search. That's where the joy lies and the fascination. Let the others scurry about gathering their contemporary bits of gossip. This is where the meat is found. It was a very exciting uh, first two rounds. Uh, Floyd uh, surprised everybody in the house that night. He uh, came right out there and started boxing and punching and winging them. He took some. He made it an exciting first two rounds, and he had the uh, people in the garden right there just up on their feet. They enjoyed it right from the very beginning. Floyd, uh, you spent a lot of time in close with uh, Chevallo. Was that your uh, plan before the battle, or did it just develop that way? No, it just developed that way. Actually, uh, I am more, well, most of my fights, all of my fights, I've been aggressive. And this was the first time I've ever fought a going-away battle and a defensive battle with uh, less offense than usual. And I would say that uh, this was a fairly new style for me, and because of this, uh, I didn't do as well uh, the first time as I think I'll do the next time. Floyd, um, with the fast pace that you two fellows put up, and with the amount of punches you threw and the amount of punches that Chevallo threw, everybody realizes you have to be good and tired. I wonder if you uh, can explain just the feeling of being weary and tired. Well, as you know, Rocky, your uh, arms begin to feel like you're holding a, a tremendous weight in each one. Your legs begin to slow up. Uh, overall, you feel like you're carrying a ton. And, uh, of course, at that point, uh, sometimes some fighters change their strategy. At that point, I didn't change my strategy. Of course, I may have stayed in a lot closer than what I was advised to or what I had trained to, but that was because of the weariness and tired and being tired. I noticed that throughout the fight that the Chevallo stayed very much to the body. Uh, a lot of people probably wondering why he did just that. I think the reason for it uh, uh, because Floyd is so fast in there that you have to uh, hit him to the body first to sort of find him, to sort of um, uh, try to hurt him and bring his guard down. Uh, uh, punches to the head early in the fight can make you look very bad when you miss. And I think Chevallo did just that, hitting to the body, uh, uh, trying to weaken uh, Floyd around the middle, uh, eventually hoping that uh, the guard would come down and then shoot to the head. I think he started a bit too late, uh, throwing for the head. I, I do think, though, that uh, it was a wise fight on his part to stay with the body, uh, a, a less uh, formidable, uh, a, a, an opponent like Floyd, who was so determined and so strong and so conditioned, just took everything he had, but there aren't too many of those around, and uh, other fights, uh, fighting another man, it would have been a good fight for him. This is Rocky Marciano. When I held the heavyweight title, they called me the Bronson Blockbuster. You'll find out why. Thank God for people like you that can keep this history going because there's history there. And uh, it's history that has never been repeated. Uh, so I, I kind of hesitated talking to you at the beginning, but when I read the book, I changed my mind. Yeah, I'd like to see it do better. No, I mean, I like you, John, and I and I know, man, you put a lot of work into this, man. And I just would like to see you, you know, get something out of it for your efforts the work you know, and as a family member you've written about things and interviewed people things that i haven't heard before they were exciting and i think that you're really really getting down and, and i'm not saying that you're not getting lucky you certainly are keep looking for that balance Dream.